Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today I have a very highly anticipated video, at least from my end, because I'm very excited to share with you guys a full three year in-depth detailed review of my beautiful Justin Clue bracelet from Cartier. So you wanna check out everything I have to say about this bracelet, hear about wear and tear, pros and cons, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who are returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and watching yet another video. Your support means the world to me. If you are new to this channel, welcome. I am a full-time working mom, and in my spare time, I really love making these videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to reselling as well. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting, definitely check out my other videos, and also consider hitting that subscribe button too. All right, so as I already briefly mentioned, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys an in-depth, detailed review of my Just Include bracelet from Cartier. So I have had this bracelet for three years now, so I feel like now is the time that I can really give you guys an honest opinion on my thoughts about this particular bracelet, pros and cons, and whether I think it was a worthwhile purchase for me. So before I get into details about why I got this bracelet and wear and tear, let me tell you just a little bit about the history because with all luxury items, I really love learning a little bit of history behind each piece. So the Just Clue style from Cartier was first designed, I believe, in the 1970s. And as you are all probably aware, this is the classic now, I would say, nail head design. And besides the original bracelet, they make many other types of styles of this motif, including earrings, necklaces, pendants, rings, you know, so many other items that come in this particular design. So I would say this is one of the more well-known types of styles from Cartier. So in case you're wondering, the other classic style, at least in my opinion, that Cartier is so well known for is their love bracelet, in addition to their other items in the love line. I have two love bracelets myself, and I did do an in-depth review of the love bracelets, which I'll link down below in case you're curious in thinking about picking up one or both of these styles. But today's video, I'm just going to focus on a detailed review of this particular bracelet. So as you all may know and can see for yourselves, I also do own the Justin Clue ring, which I wear every day on my left hand forefinger. In this particular video, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to be reviewing this particular ring. I haven't had this for even a year yet, so I don't feel that I can give you a real in-depth review at this time. So I will save that for a later date. And today I'm just going to focus on my thoughts on this beautiful bracelet. So in terms of what's available for this bracelet, I do have it in the 18 karat yellow gold. It does come in white gold and rose gold as well. There are also many other designs such that I have seen a double wrap style in addition to many options that include diamonds, where you can have diamonds on the actual nail head or even a pave look as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. So, so many options to choose from. This one is just the traditional classic original size of the Justin Clue bracelet in 18 karat yellow gold. So in terms of different thickness or size options of the actual bracelet, um, there are so many to choose from now, which really didn't exist when I first purchased this bracelet several years ago. So again, this is the original size of the Justin Clue. Since that time, I believe now there are a total of four different options in terms of sizes of this bracelet, meaning how thick the gold is. So they did release a smaller version than this. I think it's called the small size. And it is the same design. One of the key differences though is the mechanism of entry. I will show you shortly how this is a hinge open mechanism. So on the small size, there is no actual hinge open mechanism or clasp like this that I'm about to show you. It just is kind of a flexible pull type of entry where you just wrap it around your wrist. So that is one of the key differences between the small size and this original size. Pair the website, the small size width of the bracelet is about 2.5 millimeters versus the original size where they list it as 3.5 millimeters. I did try on the small version previously and I think there is a noticeable size difference in case you're curious. So as per usual with all of these luxury jewelry purchases, I do highly recommend that you go to the store or boutique if you have one near you to try them on your wrist yourself and kind of see what fits best for your liking. So a size of thickness above the original, I think is a new release size called the medium size. 
And that medium size is thicker gold than this. Again, the same look, I believe still the hinge mechanism, but it is thicker. And on the website, because it's a new release, they don't actually list the width, so I can't quote you that since I've never tried that one on. But that is the newer medium size, which is slightly thicker than this original. And then they do offer a large size of Sun Crew as well. So the thickness of the large size, at least per the Cartier website, is 8.5 millimeters. So huge difference in this. And when I look at some of the screenshots of the large version, it is definitely noticeable where it's a huge cuff, just gorgeous in 18 karat gold, but a huge difference in terms of width being at 8.5 millimeters for the large version. So as far as I'm aware, those are the main sizes. So I think they're offered now in four sizes or thicknesses of the actual bracelet itself. But again, this is the original version. So of course, one of the main questions is, how do I pick the actual size or circumference that will fit my wrist best? So at least according to the website, what they recommend is measuring the circumference of your wrist at the location where you want the bracelet to hit. And then add 1.5 centimeters to that then that total number will give you approximately the size that you would want to order for this bracelet. So this particular bracelet is in a size 16 centimeters. And I actually went with the exact same size that I did with my love bangles, which are also 16 centimeters. There are several different options, some smaller than that and many more larger in case you're curious. But again, as I mentioned earlier, if there's any way you can make it to a Cartier boutique, I highly, highly recommend you try that on in the boutique because then you can really get a sense for the right size for your wrist. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and change the camera angle a little bit and show you some up close details on this beautiful bracelet. And then I'm also gonna share with you up close wear and tear. And then I'm gonna come back and share with you overall the pros and cons of this bracelet and whether or not I would purchase it again. Okay, so here's my beautiful bracelet up close, but before I get into some of the detailed review and up close picture shots of this particular bracelet, I do wanna share with you guys all of the pieces that it comes with in case you're curious. So this particular item did come in the beautiful Cartier bag and inside I do have, of course, the receipt here. And in this pouch, I do have the standard receipt, but I also have the certificate of authenticity here. And here's what it looks like. So this is a beautiful literal certificate of authenticity. It is a really nice piece that I do keep filed for all of my luxury jewelry items. And then also in here, Oftentimes, I do get the cleaning set. So if you are buying a purchase like this bracelet, I do recommend asking your sales associate if they can throw this in here. I have several of these now and they're very handy. Honestly, I don't clean my bracelets that frequently, but it's nice to have. So it does come with a little set of the cleaning solution, a little buffing cloth, and even a little toothbrush thing so you can help get inside of your bracelets or items and clean them. I definitely need to clean my items more often, so I should be putting this to more use, but it is a really nice uh, kit that they can throw in as well with your purchase. And then the final thing in this bag is just the travel pouch. And I honestly have not used this yet, but it is a beautiful kind of velvet type finish pouch with the snap closure here. And it says Cartier. And inside there is a little pillow where you can put a little ring or something in a pocket here and put your bracelet around it as well so that you can travel with this securely. So it is a nice little pouch to use. Again, I don't really use this because I wear my bracelet essentially 24-7, <laughs> but it's nice to know that I have it in case I want to travel with this. All right, so of course the bracelet does come in its beautiful jewelry box, which I will show you right now. There is a large red box here. And when you open it up, it has the classic gorgeous Cartier red box with the gold embellishment here. It has a beautiful little button closure here, which is on the bottom of the box. So you just press this and this box opens up. And as you can see, it says Cartier. And this is where the bracelet will sit. The love bracelets do have another little section here where the screwdriver is located, but this one does not have that because it's the Justin Clue style. This is the bracelet box for this particular item. 
So really gorgeous, high quality, beautiful packaging. Okay, so moving on to this beautiful bracelet itself, let me show you a few up close shots of how it looks. So here is the underside of the bracelet, just really gorgeous, but you can see it definitely scratches. I have not cleaned this prior to this video, so this is kind of how it looks on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's the beautiful nail head design as you see, where this is the head of the nail, and here is the end of the nail. There are a couple little notches in terms of the design here, and then it just goes around with a smooth bracelet piece. This is the little hinge, which I'll show you in more detail in a few minutes. So that is how this looks. The nail head itself, I would say, has scratches, as you can see, and is not the cleanest right now. But um, that's what that looks like in terms of wear and tear. So definitely some scratches. And this does get a little bit dirty when you're wearing them and don't clean it too often. So that's one thing to be aware of. So let me show you how this bracelet opens. And this is a unique way to open this bracelet. So all you need to do is you wanna pull up on this section and push down on the head itself. So you pull up like this, and then you push down on the head. So just like that, and then it snaps open. So again, it's a hinge mechanism, and I believe all of the Just Include bracelets are like this, except the small version, where it doesn't hinge open, but it just kind of pulls apart to open and flex around your wrist. This is a true hinge style of a bracelet. Here is the mechanism. So again, there is dirt that collects in here. Um, so again, I have to clean it still, but that's one place to definitely focus on cleaning. But that's a simple entry style which I do like because in case I'm in a bind and need to remove my jewelry quickly, it's easy to do so with this bracelet, which obviously is different than a love bracelet where you really do need a screwdriver and someone to help you. This one I can easily do on my own. That being said, one of the big questions with all these bracelets is do you have to take them off, for instance, when you go through metal detectors or for instance at the airport? And my answer is I have not come across any problems with these bracelets. I've gone through many metal detectors for various events I've gone to and even at the airport. And people generally recognize these bracelets. Nowadays, there often is the scan type of uh, entry anyway, where they don't actually use a full metal detector, but they can just kind of scan your body. And these bracelets don't trigger that scan. So I have not had a problem with any of these jewelry pieces that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of being stopped by security uh, because of the metal on them. But in case I needed to take it off, it's nice to know this is a very easy way to remove it. So let me just go ahead and show you one more bit of wear and tear. So as you'll see in a minute when I add this back to my wrist, I do wear it such that the head is hitting the love bangle. And this was designed by the recommendation of my sales associate at Cartier. At first, I wanted to place the bracelet above my love bangles. However, she said that because of the design of this, what will happen is the love bracelets will scratch because the Just On Clue will track over them and scratch the bracelets more than if you leave the Just On Clue closer to your hand. So I decided to follow her advice because obviously she knows better than I do. So this is where I wear it. The issue is that then the head of the nail bangs against my love bracelet inevitably. So I do have a decent amount of wear or scuffing. I don't know if it's easy to see or not, but right here where it hits the love bracelet. So I often have to clean this one section more than other places because it does get scuffed up. And you can see there is some wear on the gold, especially on um, this section of the nail head. By wearing it in this orientation, it minimizes scratches both on the Justin Clue but also on the Love Bangles. So let me show you how I normally wear this on my bracelet stack. So I go ahead and put it on just like this. It clasps together very securely. I've had no problems or worries with this coming off at all. It's a very secure latch as you just heard. And then I wear it with the nail head next to the Love Bangle. That seems to be the preferred way to wear it, according to my sales associate, in terms of minimizing the scratching. But again, there is wear on this section of the nail head. 
but this is how I like to wear it. And it is very comfortable for me because I'm very used to this now. Um, so I love wearing these together. I uh, will talk about in a few minutes the pros and cons, but overall, this is a very comfortable bracelet and I just love stacking it. Okay, so now I just wanna take a few minutes just to go over pros and cons in detail in addition to whether or not I think this was a worthwhile luxury purchase for me. So as I talked about um, in the close-up shots, I do think that there are so many pros to this bracelet. So again, I have it back on my stack here. I think it's one of the perfect stacking bracelets, as you can see. So I have it stacked to my love in addition to my newer Van Cleef Ahamba bracelet as well. But I think there are so many combinations of stacks you can do. I think it's just a gorgeous one to add if you're a person that loves bracelets like I do. So another pro of this bracelet, of course, is that it's an 18 karat gold, so you don't have to take it off. And again, I do not take this bracelet off in general. I think it's nice that it's an easy option to remove compared to the Love bracelet. But I don't really take it off. I wear this essentially 24-7, and it bangles <laughs> and hits my bracelets on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think the wear and tear is pretty minimal given that. It's very comfortable because I've gotten used to it. Um, so I definitely love wearing it on a day-to-day -day basis. And because it's just a classic gold look, I think it goes with so many different outfits. It's very versatile. You can wear it dressy or casual. And that's why I can really leave this on 24 seven. So I do love the versatility of this bracelet and how it just goes with every outfit. And one of the main pros I think of this particular style of bracelet too is how unique it looks. Although I think it's definitely played out because everyone kind of has seen this style by now, especially if you're a luxury lover, um, I think it looks different than a classic bangle look. It's definitely more edgy, a little bit more unique. In fact, this is one of the bracelets that I get the most compliments on, especially people that are not luxury lovers. They just really appreciate the design of this nail look such that I think it's a little bit edgy and I really, really do like um, that aspect of it. So I would say that there are just a couple of cons to this bracelet. So one of them I think is inevitable, but it's that it does scratch like all of my 18 karat gold pieces. I mean, it's 18 karat gold, so it's gonna scratch. I have to get over it. I pretty much have gotten over it such that I definitely don't baby this bracelet at all. But if scratches bother you, these bracelets may not be your best selections because they do scratch. And they do show wear where they hit your other bangles as well. Again, I've gotten over it. It doesn't bother me much because I love the look of wearing a stack, but it does scratch and show wear if it hits against other items. I don't think the scratches show up as obviously as they do on the Love bracelet, and that's just based on the design because the Love bracelet has a lot more flatter, shinier surface. The scratches are a lot more noticeable than the Just Done Clue where the actual part of the bracelet is not so flat and shiny such that it hides scratches a lot better than the Love style. And I would say the second con is kind of a major one for some people. and. That is that this sharp area here, um, I shouldn't say sharp, but this pointy area at the end of the nail definitely hooks on things. So what I mean by that is when I'm wearing a sweater, such as I am today, especially if it's more of an open knit, this will catch in the sweater or blankets when I'm sleeping. It does occasionally hook in there. It also is true for this ring as well. So the end of the nail does hook in things. So I have to be a little careful when I'm putting sweaters on that I don't want to damage. Or, you know, if I'm sleeping at night, if, you know, I don't have the time to think about it, I may try to be careful about where the blanket is in relation to this bracelet. So if that bothers you, then this style may not be the best because it does hook on things, honestly. But for me, I don't think it's that significant. It doesn't happen all that often. And I think it's a fair trade-off for how this bracelet looks for me. So I still love wearing it, but it does hook on some things. So all in all, would I purchase this again? And hands down, absolutely. I think this is one of my best purchases in terms of luxury that I've ever made. I do love my other bracelets as well, but this one is something special because of the uniqueness of the design. And I just love the look of it. So even if I didn't have all these other bracelets, or even if I just had one, 
Um, I think the look of the Justin Clue holds its own, such that if I was just picking one bracelet, I think that would look great. Um, so the answer is absolutely yes. If you're at all thinking about adding this to your collection, I highly, highly recommend it. It's one that I will keep forever and I will definitely pass down to my kids as well. So there you have it. Those are my thoughts and my three year review on this Justin Clue bracelet. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit about the history of the bracelet in addition to sizing and my thoughts on this particular item. Thank you so much for watching another video and I'll plan to see you in my next one. Take care. Bye.